yeah. And everybody real left me all alone He really left me all alone Now everybody see I'm doing fine Everybody wanna Hell reach out Ask me how I'm doing Ask me if I need anything Get my girl with my kids yeah. high What's up, what's up, collective? I hope you guys are having a beautiful day today Staying peaceful, prosperous, and abundant I hope that all is well for you guys You guys can book a reading at ogbeckyterra.online That's ogbeckyterra.online Thank you guys for all the support and tuning in. Make sure you guys like this video and share. Okay, okay. Let me get my cards together. Let's get into this reading. Um, collectives, take it as it resonates. Your baby's mother or baby's father views you as the opposition. Okay. For some of you, this individual can be active in your child's life. But the active involvement is very diabolical, okay? And for the most of you out there, this mother or this father is completely absent and delinquent in this child's life. Now, for both situations... The, the mother or the father being absent and being present is solely because this individual wants to know your business. It seems that after this relationship didn't work out, the other parent, this co-parent expected you to fail. Okay? You did not fail and neither do you look like the things you've been through. For some of you, you and your child could have been in a very vulnerable and desperate situation. And the other co-parent did not want to help, did not take this situation into courtesy, did not have sympathy for you or your child, okay? For some of you, I'm getting that a parent says that they will make ends meet for a child and they don't. But they don't let you know they can't make ends meet. They wait for like the day of payment is needed or the day of items is needed. And they tell you, oh, you need to go get it. Oh, this, oh, that. Like there's different scenarios, different situations. I'm also getting that someone's baby's father specifically um, is a delinquent father in your life to make you mad on purpose. By this individual making you mad on purpose. It makes you not want to deal with them. You are a person of peace. You are a person of preventable pain. Okay? You don't want to be a part of any any form of pain and endurance. Okay? And this individual upsets you on purpose. This child, this, this person manipulates this child, brainwashes this child, puts this child into um, selfish situations into desperate situations this could strongly be about finances somebody's child could be 10 or 14 12 or coming up on them ages and if some of your children are young excuse me are younger than these ages at these ages 10 12 or 14 the other parent may finally decide to step up okay that's for some of you all of you, the, the, the father or the mother will not step up. For some of you, this is a permanent situation you're going through. For some of you, it is going to take a stepmom or a stepdad to come in and make your child's life fulfilled. Because this, this co-parent, they look at you as the opposition. They look at you as if one of their oppositions on the streets, okay? It's this person's bet, bet to, best bet to stay away from you and you to stay away from them. Because only if you knew how this person really wants to dog you. This person really thought they had your energy on a string. This person thought that they had like your life on a string. For some of you, they thought they were dogging you out. You see this woman in the position of a dog. For some of you, this person thought that they were going to dog you out. And they're upset that they weren't able to dog you out. Okay. Some of you are being used financially by the co-parent. 
the co-parent never loved your child. They only love the things that you can do for them. Yeah, eight of cups. And you've been wondering, you've been trying to figure it out. And here's your answer, whether you want to believe it or not. And this is the harsh truth for somebody. Somebody, you shaking your head, saying that it's not true. You're about to click off this video. But before you do, this is one of those harsh realities that you have to face, baby boy or baby girl. This is one of those tough realities that you have to face, that the person you had a baby with is not mentally competent. It's not spiritually competent. This person's mind is not all the way up there. Yeah. The moon and four cups. This person could be like a poet, an artist, a musician in some type of way. And they could, have been, they could be recently expressing their feelings about you through their music, through their art. Through their act, someone as an actor, some type of with some type of artistry here, or this could be you collective. You have been putting this into um maybe music poems. Somebody could be a part of a single parents club, and you've been uh you know poets club or something where you guys come up with poems and things like that. yeah yeah also um somebody's baby's father baby mother take it as it resonates they're waiting on your downfall this person doesn't want to be involved in your child's life if you are active but say for instance you were to die or go to jail this person really want to see you go to jail okay a lot of you out there this co-parent wants to see you go to jail at a rapid speed Six of Cups, yep. Look, they're waiting. They sit around and wait. And you see how you just hear the cups that you do have, what you were able to walk away with, your dignity, your pride, your self-esteem. You holding it very tight. You holding it on. You holding on to spirituality. You holding on to what you've learned through this journey. You holding on to it. And this person is waiting for you to let it go. Just like the other cups that they have, that they think they still have emotional ties to, they don't to the main one, which is your heart. And you're holding your goal to your heart. Okay? And this could possibly be your children. A symbolization of your children. This person has done everything they could to you as a male or as a female. Except for mess with your parenthood. Yeah. Somebody's other, the co-parent, whenever you call for assistance or help, they're waiting on this to be a call that they, they need to come and pick up their child so that they can tell you no. For some of you out there, when this happens, or when this, per like this person is waiting for this to happen, it's not going to happen. But when this happens, this person is, is ready to say that they can't take their child, that your child needs to go to the system. Someone's ultimate goal is to get your children put into CPS. This could also be a step a step parent, okay? Somebody you broke up with, yeah. Somebody you broke up with. Yeah. And this could be this individual's families that's involved with it. This family has this person has strung their family along with this shit and friends to see you lose everything. But the only thing that they doing is making themselves foolishly lose everything at a rapid speed. No matter what these individuals send to you, no matter what they send your way, you will um, run over them with this the chariot. Especially in the month of July, you are really crunching on your enemy's necks. And yes, somebody's baby's mother, baby father, this person is your enemy. This person is definitely your enemy, okay? This person does not want to see you accomplish anything. Anything that you do accomplish, this person wants to see you fail in it. And if you are accomplishing anything, it, it devastates this person, okay? It upsets this person. And my thing is, this person isn't financially stable themselves. This person likes a lot themselves, okay? 
I'm also again for some of you, they have taken a, a spiritual toll of paying a warlock or a witch to do some shit to you. To see you fail. Yo. Somebody has gone to a practitioner to see you fail. And this practitioner is keeping their hopes high as fuck. They're keeping the money going around. They're, they're playing your baby mom or baby dad. And this is money that they can be using to provide for their child. Because I am getting that you are the parent that is the provider of the child. The child lives with you. You accommodate for the child. Okay. And that's kind of sick as fuck. For a parent to not be active in their child's life. And to be claiming and be praying and calling on a downfall of the parent that is taking care of your child. And then my thing is this parent, this co-parent is not even stable. This person doesn't have a home, a car, money. So why are they trying to mess with your stability collective? That's how much this person hates you. That's how much you are filling up their cup. This is the type of person that will get themselves in trouble just to see you in trouble. They will hurt themselves just to see you hurt. This is the type of person that will that that do a murder-suicide. And enjoy you two arguing in, in heaven or hell, or hell, wherever you two may go, okay? The Emperor. Like I said, for, for some of you out there, there's somebody got a baby daddy that's very spiteful, very vindictive. This baby father has tried to set you up on multiple occasions. This person has sent friends your way. Yep, that. This person has sent friends to you, some of their friends to you, and their friends have fallen in love with you. They sent family member to you that ended up wanting to get with you, but they couldn't because they were your baby mom or baby dad family member, okay? And this has caused a lot of confrontations, okay? I'm not going to cap. This person trying to come up against you, trying to do shit upon you, do shit to you. This has caused a lot of five of staff moments around this individual. This person has lost friends. This person has lost friends because they don't want to get involved with this shit. And if nobody wants to get involved with this shit, nobody wants to help them get you, they feel like, oh, well, you you, you must fuck with collective more than you fuck with me. Now, I can't fuck with you. And I ain't gonna cap. It's a couple people that this person don't want to go back around because they're scared that this individual have told you. For a few of you out there, your baby mother, baby father has tried to set you up. <laughs> This person has tried to set you up because they have not had love, companionship, stability, or anything since you have gone. April 10th could be significant. Somebody could be an Aries here. I just thought of my baby daddy. He's a Capricorn. So somebody's baby's father could be a Capricorn. Baby mother could be a Capricorn. Yup, look. King of Swords and Four Staff. You don't know it. But being with you, this person want to fight about it. If this person was to run into your boyfriend or your girlfriend collective, they most likely will harm with them, cause some type of harm to them, kill them and say that it was self-defense, try to start a fight and say it was self-defense. Like, yeah, Ten of Swords. I'm getting for some of you, y'all need to be careful with y'all home, disclosing y'all home address to y'all baby's mother or father because this is a situation where someone's baby mother or baby father is planning some sort of attack on you guys to have someone to do a home invasion, a home intrusion. For some of you there, if you're dealing with a man that has children, the baby mama is trying to find a hitman to hire a hitman to come and uh, masquerade the entire home, including the baby's father, because this father is delinquent in the child's life. Ooh. Somebody that took in somebody, baby mama or baby daddy that don't take care of their other kids and their other parent is trying to plan a, a murder, a masquerading. Y'all don't need to be opening up y'all doors because they got a bad, a bad, mad baby mama, baby daddy out there lurking, trying to send somebody to y'all new home. Somebody is about to send a child to there to your home, send your child back home would like find my iCloud on or some shit like that so they could know where y'all live at. It, this a lot of shady ass shit. This a lot of sneaky ass shit. And I'm also getting that this is a lot about finances too. This is the type of, so this somebody, baby mama, baby daddy, a dead ass get you robbed and try to split the money with the person that robbed you. Okay? Yeah, the hermit. Be careful. I don't know who this for, but be careful. Your baby mama, baby daddy has no good intentions for you. 
nothing good comes out of this relationship. Somebody is trying to force a mother to be in a, in a child's life or a father. You need to stop doing this and just take it for what it is and have your hurdles. Because what you're trying to do is open up a door that God closed specifically for your safety. Ooh. Let's get in our yes or no. Yes or no, Holy Spirit. Yes or no. Hold on. We got reconsider. We got you already. Don't stop. Don't stop caring and providing. Don't stop. And we got yes. We got yes. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys are using in discernment, especially when it comes to exes. And the people, for some of y'all, the people that you are currently in a relationship with, because some of y'all are out here trying to make it work with your baby daddy or your baby mama, and they still plotting on you. Somebody is sleeping with the enemy, okay? Y'all have a good day. Stay peaceful. Stay prayerful and, pros and prosperous. I was about to say prophetic. Somebody is a prophet. Also, to throw that out there, too, being sexually active with your baby mama, baby dad won't change their motives of setting you up, okay? Y'all stay peaceful, stay prosperous, stay safe, stay loved, and stay wholesome. Mwah. All love. And make sure y'all book y'all reading at ogbeckytarot.online. That's ogbeckytarot.online.